How about Leviticus 19.27? Can you explain it, please? Well, sure. All right. Let's go ahead and read it. It says, um, <laughs> You shall not round off the hair of your temples or mar the edges of your beard. <laughs> okay. So one thing we have to understand is that the book of Leviticus is not for everybody. There are a lot of rules in here because this is the handbook for the Levites. And the Levites, the, um, they were all ministers to God. Now, some of them, the descendants of Aaron, would be priests, specifically priests. So all priests were Levites, not all Levites were priests. But this is their handbook. They all understood it. They all had to read it and memorize it. But what this is doing is God is preventing them from falling into false religion. That's exactly what's going on here. And we can tell that by the context of the rest of the passage. So let's just go ahead and read that one paragraph that it's in. So we're going to start in verse 26 instead. You shall not eat any flesh with the blood in it. You shall not in interpret omens or tell fortunes. You shall not round off the hair on your temples or mar the edges of your beard. You shall not make any cuts on your body for the dead or tattoo yourselves. I am the Lord. Okay, so... Again, the same thing with tattoos, people ask about that. This has everything to do with false religions. These were the practices of people who believed in the false gods around them. God was helping them to distinguish themselves from these other religions, saying, hey, don't do this, don't do that, because it's just gonna lead you to be more interested in what they're doing and why they're doing it. So he was actually setting up a safety net for the Levites so that they could guide the rest of Israel in that safety. So I hope that helps. But um, the main thing we have to keep in mind with everything in the Old Testament is that God set it up for Israel. We are not bound to it because we are not Israel. Now, spiritually, we've been grafted into the vine of faith you know, the, that Abraham started, but Abraham wasn't even a part of Israel. So that's the main thing is that it was not written for us. We do not have to follow the dietary laws or the clothing laws or the hair laws or the tattoo laws or any of those other things because it wasn't for us. Now, is it a bad thing if you follow them? No. There's a lot of great wisdom in what God has given them to follow, but it's not for us. At the And at the very least, we have this verse here. Jesus fulfilled the law. We don't have to. And we're not Israel, so we don't have to. <laughs>